instead, I want to talk about ratios. Okay. So ratios is just referring to the fact that we can split. I might not give you full information about how the, the segments are split up. Okay. So in the, each case so far, we said this piece and this piece makes up the whole thing. And we have all that information here. It might not. So in this example, if B partitions or divides a directed line segment AC into a ratio of three to two, what is the length AB if AC is 10? <sighs> a lot going on there. Again, when in doubt, draw it out. B splits up AC. Okay, so I'm going to draw in AC here. Like that. And B is going to be somewhere in there that splits it up. Splits it up into a ratio of three to two. Okay, the whole length is 10. So here's one thing I like to do for this one. Okay, one thing to remember is ratios are fractions. I'm gonna set this up as a fraction. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna say here's the part, here's a part, and that's the whole thing. I'm gonna combine it kind of with my uh, idea of segment addition. So here what I have is kind of like part plus part, uh, line, part plus part equals the whole length. Well, if I do my ratios, I'm going to do that same way. Three and two are my ratios. The whole thing is five. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to take this a little bit further. This is my full box right here. Okay. This is my kind of my ratio and actual lengths. Here are my ratios here. This last one is going to be my actual length. So my, I don't know the length of AB. I don't know the length of BC, but I know AC is 10. So here's what I'm going to look for. I want to find what was the question for. What's the length of AB? This is the one I want to find. Okay. So what I have, let me highlight this one. I have these two items. I have 3 and X. I have five and 10, They're in, and they are in the corresponding positions. So I could set up my ratio using those values. I can go three over X equals five over 10. You notice how I went ratio to actual length, or I can go this way, I can go three over five equals X over 10. Doesn't matter, okay? It's gonna be the same exact thing because when I cross multiply now, okay, it doesn't matter which way I go, I'm doing the same thing. 3 times 10 equals 5 times x. So then I get 30 equals 5x, divide by 5, x equals 6. And that's what I wanted to find. That's it. 6 was my value of AB. So AB equals 6. Okay. I'm, again, I'm going to save the U-Try Now problems to when we come meet in class. But that is what we are looking at here is with our ratios. We are trying to set them up as what is the comparison, because that's what a ratio is. It's a comparison of two items, okay? Set up this ratio. I like to do it with this box. Set up my ratios in one column, set up the actual lengths in the other column, and always set it up so that it is like this, where it's part plus the part equals the whole thing, all right? So that's it for 1.2 day one, okay? Um, like I said, you want, if you want to try the you try nows out, that'll get you a head start for tomorrow when we're in class. But otherwise, we will have time to go over them tomorrow. That will be our things to work on together. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Otherwise, talk to you later.